Hey Star Wars fans and action figure collectors. Hey Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, welcome to another Star Wars The Black Series 6 inch action figure review. This time we're looking at the Stormtrooper. Uh, this is the new new mold of Stormtrooper, all brand new. Um, really looking forward to checking this one out. It's uh, more so based on the Stormtroopers that have sort of come out with Rogue One and Solo and The Mandalorian. Um, so much that they've actually put this as part of the Mandalorian line. Um, it's got the uh, orange colouring that the Mandalorian figures are going to have in the Black Series line. Um, it's looking pretty good. I've got a couple of these. Um, and uh, I'll do my best to do a little bit of a comparison with the original Stormtrooper, which is still pretty good by my books. But uh, with Hasbro's technology that they've got now, with their articulation, it's a uh, good, good time for an update and uh, another chance to army build these things. So let's stick around and have a look. All right, here is the Stormtrooper. Let's see how many pieces of tape we've got on this one. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pieces of tape. I think I missed the uh, bottom one on my last review, so I did count six, but I must have missed it. Throw that rubbish away, get the blaster out, let's take the figure out, and uh, very nice, it's looking good. It's a nice looking Stormtrooper. Helmet's a little, little off, off skew, but uh, I've seen a lot of people getting some a lot worse ones. Because um, what they've done is they've actually got a clone trooper head in there, which they've just glued the helmet down. Um, they obviously wanted to get the sculpt right on the helmet so they can have removable helmet figures in the future and have that as an easy option. Um, but in the process, in the factory, some of them are getting glued on a silly way. Um, and they're coming out a little bit warped. Um, simple solution for that is to just dunk it in some boiling water uh, for probably 20-30 seconds, um, pulling it out and just sort of either let it relax or you can sort of just pinch it into shape. Um, just obviously wait till your hands can touch it and just pinch it into shape and then run it under some cold water and it should hold that shape. Um, this one isn't too bad. It looks looks pretty decent to me. Um, I'm digging it. So I did say we'd do a side-by-side. -side. Uh, he does come with his, looks like a standard E11, but it looks new because it's got the scope thing on the side there. And potentially it's a little bit smaller. It is a little bit shorter in length. Size doesn't matter. Ugh. All right, so he holds that really nice and well, which is good. Um, they've gone with the pinless technology with these figures, so there's no pins. So let's go side by side so we can see what I'm talking about. You can see the pins in the figure on the right. This is the old Stormtrooper. I'm noticing now that the new one doesn't have the holster. None of those arm joints. The armors are probably a little bit slimmer. A little bit more aesthetically pleasing, but both are great figures. Um, I still really like the old Stormtrooper, um, and I really like the new one too. Height difference, there's not really a lot of difference there, they're pretty much the same. Um, yeah, it's a case of having a couple of different looking Stormtroopers in the collection. I know a lot of people were upset they were going to have to go and buy all new Stormtroopers to replace their old ones, but um, you know they all look different from movie to movie in the original trilogy anyway, so <laughs> it doesn't really matter. You just split them up and mix them together and most people won't know the difference. But yeah, pretty solid looking figure. I'm glad I've got a couple of these. I've got a couple more on the way, so I'll have a total of four. Um, we'll probably stop there. <laughs> Maybe. Um, you just know that probably Luke and Han in disguise will get a re-release. We'll probably get some uh, dirtied up Remnant Stormtroopers down the line very, very soon uh, to accompany the Mandalorian. Articulation's good. 
with no pins, no double joints. Just that beautiful, nice cut, clean, and getting plenty of angle. Same on this hand. You've got the trigger finger on both hands, so you could have him pack and double double blasters <laughs> if you really wanted to. And uh, gives you the option to switch them out, um, which is with the old stormtroopers. Uh, only ever one hand had the uh, the right hand, only ever had the trigger finger, so you could only ever sort of pose them one way. But now you can sort of mix them up and have them switch guns and switch them around facing the other way. Just a little bit of variety to your displays, which is cool. Yeah, it's a nice looking Stormtrooper. Pretty, pretty pleased with this one. I'm going to have a couple of Stormies for my Mando shelf. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. That would be sweet. And uh, stay tuned because I've got some more videos coming real soon. Next up is Tebow the Ewok. Thanks for watching, guys. And until next time, may the Force be with you.